Well, I remember uh, thinking after I left the interview that I really enjoyed the conversation with the members of the committee. They, um, it was composed of uh, alumni, faculty, uh, some students and staff, and they were all very excited about the process. And that was extraordinarily attractive to me that they were so interested in uh, the search and doing a great job for the university. And that was very attractive and is something that I think more than anything else made me uh, start to very seriously uh, consider it. Uh, when uh, Bernadette and I were at Marywood, I, Marywood was of course a much smaller place than it is now. Uh, the great majority of, of students were first generation uh, to go to college, as was I, and, and I think Bernadette as well. Uh, Bernadette was coming from from a, a, a distant state. We didn't have very many people coming to Marywood from that, from that far away at that time. And of course, she was a minority. She had gone to an IHM school um, as, a, as a young person, uh, which I'm sure is how she learned about Marywood. But certainly, she was able to take the, the spirit of Marywood, um, the, the spirit of, of working to uh, enable people to have more than they have had before, um, and take that not only use it in her own life, but use it in the, in, for the lives of others. Education was one of the ways to do social justice. And certainly, uh, Bernadette's work in clinical psychology takes on that Marywood mission in, in the field in which we are. Her, her reputation is just stellar, really just stellar. And of course, we're, we were all very pleased when she got the position as chancellor at, at the University of Kansas. In a uh, smaller community like Marywood, you knew uh, everyone, you knew what year they were, if you didn't know their name, and so on. So it's a different kind of experience. It, certainly the time that I was there, you would call that a kind of a classical education. You were supposed to study, you know, science and literature and art and so on. And, and I think that was a very important foundation. And there were uh, people like me who wanted to know everything they could about everything, and I think that was very strong. At, at North Carolina State, which was a, a, a nearby uh, university, the chief uh, counsel there, the uh, university council, was uh, one of my classmates from Marywood. And there were a couple of other people at the university who were from there. And I've met an, a, K, I mean, a Marywood alum here uh, as well, who's a faculty member here. So I see people different places. We are recasting our mission. The, the basic goals are, are the same, but we're rec recasting it to say that the mission of the University of Kansas is to educate leaders, build healthy communities, and make discoveries that change the world. And in that, whether we're talking about education or research or direct service, making a difference and making a difference in the grand challenges of our time um, is what we're all about as a university. And so. Uh, is very consistent with the uh, goal that you describe for Marywood. And I, I think of one example of that, and, and actually that was, it was pretty uh, daunting in a way, that uh, someone, a staff member, this was at my previous position, uh, came to me and said, and she actually started crying, and she said, I want you to know that you're my role model. Uh, and that I watch what you, <laughs> I watch what you do, and try to pattern myself out. I thought, oh my gosh, uh, because it made me aware of a kind of a public responsibility that you have if people see you in different roles. And so, yes, that that has happened, and it's always um, is very gratifying and very humbling, but also intimidating in, in a way when that happens. That I believe in quality. And, and trying to um, be a, an institution of quality or a person of quality, and I'm, I believe in improvement as well. Uh, university uh, participation is an unusual kind of experience for the students who come here as full-time students, uh, first-year students. And if I uh, were to say one thing, I would encourage them to take advantage of the opportunities they're never going to have this opportunity again. They may have the opportunity to study, but in a setting like this where there are a wide variety of things that they can uh, choose from, both uh, within classroom activities and outside, to take advantage of everything that they can to uh, prepare them for their work, their life, 
uh, whatever they're going to do when they leave here. That would be the first thing. And then the other would be to enjoy themselves while they're, while they're here. <laughs>